IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our 13th episode of the second semester. I'm Julianne Lambert. And I'm Jade Zarco. So Julianne, it's real nice to have you back at our news desk. And a special thanks to Mr. Domadeo for being flexible and allowing our BVA students this opportunity. Yes, Jade, I'm so happy to be back. I missed all of the Braves Beat team and teachers, so it's really good to be back for this episode. Speaking of this episode, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. Thanks, Julianne. So, you know, April is Autism Awareness Month. Acceptance comes with understanding, and while individuals and families living with autism live this life every day, there is still a need for factual education and awareness for the general public. Knowledge promotes acceptance because it allows people to understand how to be more inclusive and build more supportive experiences. Discover how you can get involved this April by visiting autismacceptance.org. You can find this link in the description. The Cincinnati Academy of Performing Arts is offering a second film productions camp in late June. Please see the link in the description if you would like to sign up or find out more information. Attention seniors! Senior speech auditions are just one week away. If you are interested in speaking at the commencement ceremony or senior celebration, be sure to email Mrs. Cottrell or follow the link in the description. Dylan had a chance to interview John Cushman about being part of the Hello Dolly. Uh, um, uh, hello everybody. Uh, it's another episode. Today we have our, uh, our own school's great actor, uh, John Cushman. Everybody welcome on. Hello, yeah, uh, sit down. You can clip on the mic right there. Um, so, uh, John, how was your trip over here? Ah, uh, it was pretty extensive. Long right. walk from over there to over here, so. All right. Yeah. Well, um, this, uh, this musical that you're playing, um, yeah. explain, like, uh, who you are in the show. Um, so I play Cornelius Hackle, and he kind of, along with Barnaby, who's played by Joseph Kane, who's a sophomore, um, we kind of work for Mr. Vandegelder, who's played by George Bell, who's a junior, and we work in the hay and feed store. We've kind of been stuck there for a while, and in order to break out and see the city, we go to New York and experience life in there. So I heard a little bit of uh, backstage rumor of, uh, that you like to uh, tie people's hair together and put mice in their lap. And you call yourself the Rat King? <laughs> um, Are you aware of the difference between rats and mice? Uh, I was like, what is this? <laughs> Um, well, th those rumors are very true, but they're not about me personally. They're about a number mem another member in the cast. Mm -hmm. You might know him, Nate Strauss. Nate Strauss? Yeah, he was about to play the horse in the show. Wait, this is real? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> he was about to play the horse in the show, and then when he wasn't allowed to play the horse, he became this rat king. And he goes and he... <laughs> this he, is real? This is real. He actually he does He actually this. does this, yeah. He All goes right. around and he terrorizes children. Do you have a picture of that anywhere? I can get you one later today. Okay. Um, can I get no, like a chicken cheesesteak, uh, like a large fry. Um, I'm going to bag of chips. I'll have like salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. And then just like a water. All right. Uh, you've been served. You, you have overdrafted your Visa gold card by $26,000. So your name is John, right? Yes. Was that was that a reference to anything on purpose? Um, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> so who is Dolly? Uh, Dolly is played by Brooke Youngblood. Not, not the actor. Not the, what? Who is she? I know you've seen the dream. <laughs> what? The Dolly. The ocean. <laughs> the bomb. Who is she? Robert Brunner has committed to play lacrosse at Ohio Northern University. Congrats, Robert. Speaking of our boys lacrosse, our team beat Turpin last Friday 12-2. They also beat Seven Hills 12-1 on Saturday. Keep up the great work. Now, to switch it over to our girls lacrosse team, who lost a very tough game to Marymount this past Thursday by a score of 11-12. Wow, what a game. Then they won big over Kings Saturday with a score of 17-5. 
Then our girls played at Springboro Tuesday and they lost with a score of 12 to 13. They had their senior night Thursday versus Wyoming, which was live streamed by IHTN and can be seen on demand at IHTN One YouTube channel. Our boys baseball team beat Marymount on Monday and Wednesday last week. They lost a tough game to New Richmond last Thursday, but beat Reading on Saturday at the Reds Futures Showcase event where Doggy Zhang was chosen as the MSA Sport MVP. They beat Reading again on Monday and are now tied for second in the CHL. Way to go, boys. Our girls softball team has been fighting hard this season, but lost a pair of games to Reading this past week. Keep battling ladies, the wins are coming. Our boys and girls track and field teams both won the Finneytown Invitational with tough competition from Wyoming and Taylor. Great job track and field. Also Dylan Thompson has committed to Mount St. Joe for track. Congrats Dylan. The Indian Hill men's varsity tennis team completed a busy week of tennis against the regional competition. The Braves defeated Madeira, the St. X B team, Marymount, Cincinnati Country Day, the Mason B team, and Beaver Creek. During this grueling stretch, the team won 24 of 25 courts in total. The team is ranked number one in the Division II Ohio Tennis Zone rankings. Come out to cheer on the team in support as they take on Loveland at home on Friday at 4 p.m. Well, that's all the news that we have for this week. So, Julianne, how was it being back at your old anchor desk? It felt like home. I appreciate being back in the studio again. Well, thanks for joining me today. The pleasure was all mine. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. Happy birthday, Mr. Terry. Uh, we are thankful to have you here at Indian Hill. You have been a blessing for, for sports, being there for us. Uh, yeah, thank you, and have a uh, blessed uh, day. Happy birthday, Terry. Uh, thank you for helping me uh, recover from when I get injured a lot. I'm like in your office every day. I'll probably see you today at some point. So yeah, see ya. Hey, happy birthday, Terry. Thanks for um, rubbing my quad out lately with the metal piece. Feels a lot better. Thanks. <laughs>